All right, it says that I am live, so we're going to go with this again. Welcome, replay viewers. You are looking at three of my favorite little treasures in my garden, Grace, Health, and Success. Okay, so now it says double flip. Hey, Osen. Still trying to get the camera. Hey, how's it going? Hey, Dandy. So I'm welcoming the replay viewers, but now I see the newcomers are coming in right on. So today's topic, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about healing your heart with art journaling. And I am Carmel Morgan. I am an artist and I am also a yoga teacher and holistic health teacher. And what is important, more importantly, though, is I've walked this journey, right? I have dealt with my own crap and have been all over the place trying all different things and yoga and therapies and meetings and groups. And what I have learned is that when you carry a real deep pain in your heart, when you have stories and you have your traumas and your dramas and your karmas and nothing's helping, one of the best things to do is dive into art journaling. You've got some oohs and boos that you need to express, and to come and express your heart every day is a really cool thing. Um, so I'm new at Periscope, totally. Thanks for hanging in, and I have my notes from the Alex's. See, now I'm shaking the camera. Hey, how's it going? I'm still figuring out the whole camera situation, but I'm in my backyard here in Petaluma, California. Hey, trucking. Good to see you again. Maybe you're going to give me a little chat this time. Um, still new. No one's chatted with me yet, so I haven't even practiced with um, reading the chat feed. So if somebody wants to help me out, that'd be awesome. Uh, so once again, I'm going to repeat. Today's topic is healing your heart with art journaling. And we're going to go over three keys that are really important when you set up a daily practice like art journaling. We're also going to do a word of the day. I have angel cards that we're going to choose <laughs> together. And also, looking at my notes here because I've been studying so hard so I can put together a really great Periscope for you guys because I have so much I want to share and I really want to help you guys find what it is that you love to do. Um, so what we're going to learn today, the three keys, and then this is on my wall. Like this is, this is what I refer to daily consistency. And why is it important to talk about consistency? Because when you feel like crap, you don't want to be consistent about anything. The second thing is per perseverance, striving to be your best. Once again, when you feel like crap, you're kind of unsure like what your best is. And that's why it's so important to have an art practice. It helps you show up. So if you guys are digging what I'm talking about, let me know. Do the little heart thingy thingy um, or tap into the chat, right? Um, the other key is intensity. So you want to bring your passion always. But once again, if you don't know what you want and you're struggling and you're trying a whole bunch of different things, bringing your passion isn't as easy as it sounds, right? It looks great on a meme. It looks great when you're scrolling through your Facebook feed or your Twitter feed. But when it comes into putting it into practice, you need something that you can take your heart to, you can take your body to. So when you put your heart in something, when you're healing your body, Everyone wants to go with like, you know, this is the exercise program. You have to go A, B, and C, and you have to start with doing this, this, this. And then you deal with your heart. Then you deal with your emotions. Then you deal with the sad feelings and pain. Bullshit. For women especially. Women are built differently. Even yoga, they say like the kundalini runs different for chicks than from guys. And it's true, but instead of running the opposite way, it's more like women are a network. We express out, and we have all these different emotions all day long. We are a language master. Um, our brains are built differently. How we communicate is on a multi-sensory level within ourselves as well as our world. So art helps us develop our language. Why is this important? Because there hasn't been that much information. All of our health systems has been focused on the male anatomy system. It's only recently we realized how cool science is showing how important it is for women. All right, so once again, the three keys to success that we're going to look at today, persistent, um, consistency, perseverance, and intensity, 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 right? And intensity is just how much you're put, willing to put skin in the game, right? And so with intensity, 
it's, you know, if you want to simplify it, you know, anything that you find yourself reacting to where you go, oh, fuck no, eliminate those from your life. Anything that you go, fuck yeah, put more time into that. So for me, art is a big fuck yeah. <laughs> I love art and showing up every day and combining art with my journaling practice, with the personal inventory that I need to do for myself to gauge where I'm at and move my health forward, move my relationships forward, move my creativity forward, is this practice. It has done so much wonders for me and I'm excited to be sharing it. So once again, um, thanks for hanging in there. I'm still learning how to do this. Oh dang, I think I made the same mistake I made last time. Mm. Yay, you're still there. Okay, there's been some weird thing happening with my phone. So if you can help with the chat, if you know how to clear keyboards, I totally appreciate it. So back to what we're doing. So word of the day, right? What's the word of the day? So let's go ahead and check that out. I'm going to go ahead and tap the screen. Okay, here we go. There's my big tea bag and da, 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 da. put a little mojo on it. Think about what our intention is going to be for us to art journal today. And I'll show you how to use these three keys. And the word of the day is adventure. Oh, that's such a good one because being on Periscope is definitely an adventure. This is live TV, something I've been excited about since I was a little kid watching I Love Lucy reruns. <laughs> okay, so flipping around so you don't have to look at my yard. Hello, here we go. All right, so grab your art journal. If you don't have an art journal, grab a piece of paper. This is my art journal. And I hope you guys aren't seeing the keyboard, but um, on this, <laughs> I don't know. It's new adventure, right? Periscope is a new adventure. Um, so, what do we need to do? Okay, I was hoping that I'd be able to clear the screen, but I'm not. I still have a screen, so please, um, if you're chatting, let me, you know, send the smoke signal up. <laughs> All right, so next thing you want to do, grab a crayon. I like to keep my crayons in a bowl. Um, I'm, I'm kind of odd with my crayons. But one of the most important things you want to look at is making sure that we're going to deal with consistency, right? We're going to deal with the first key. And I was about to pop into that, but what I want you to do first is grab a crayon. And don't even look. Just grab whatever crayon. This is a good way to start trusting your intuitions. Just what a little fun ways to trust your intuition. You know, hold off on doing it with the really big things that you're unsure about. Um, do what you need to do to work a problem through, to feel it all the way through. But where it's fun to do your intuition with little stuff is, you know, just closing your eyes, um, picking a shirt for the day, closing your eyes and grabbing a crayon, closing your eyes and hitting play or shuffle on the playlist and know that that's the song that you want to dance with. Keep it simple. Keep it easy. You're learning. And the, as you know, the more we learn, the easier it gets. The more we learn, it becomes a habit. It takes 28 days to create a habit. It takes 90 days to create a body memory. So when you create a habit of doing art journaling, what you're doing for your health, for healing, is that you're actually giving your body the superfood, the fuel that it needs to stimulate the hormonal glands and the things that you love to do stimulate your immune system. I love art. I do it every day. Do what it is that you love to do. So I pulled a red crayon. And on your paper, go ahead and write the word adventure. And if you're writing it, type in the chat, adventure. And like I said, I can't even tell if anyone's still in the room with me because my keyboard's still up. Newbie time, newbie alert, newbie alert. All right, grab another crayon. So the first key consistency, showing up every day. So what's the key to showing up every day? Make it fun. Nobody wants to come to a suck ass place to work with fucktards, right? <laughs> and if you're being a fucktard to yourself and you're being, you know, in inner, in your inner critics are running amok and they're 
criticizing you and trying to set up some perfect, like, I don't know, Pinterest um, art studio that you saw, which I've tried doing. This is, this is all, I live it, I teach what I live. So I know what it's like to have this ideal of what it is that you want, but it's more important to just show up. The, what you want, how you want your nest to be, how you want something to look, it will, it, it takes time. You have to like reach out and gather those molecules from the universe around you and give them time to marinate before you get to see the fruits of your work. So consistency, make it fun. Have the music going. Um, all week I've been rocking um, Jillian Walker, who's a yoga teacher and ecstatic dance dance, dance tribe teacher. I know him from Cloud9 and Ipsby. Um, hang with him online, but I love his mixed cloud. Um, great for yoga teachers. He's amazing. So I've been jamming to those lately. Um, but whatever it is that you love to do, like I said, hit play. Hit, you know, the hair's doing a weird thing. Sorry. Uh, I will stop. Um, another weird thing about Periscope is talking to yourself and bypassing your face and imagining that you're talking to everyone who's listening right now. Consistency. Show up every day. So if you're going to show up, and you're going to have to journal about your weight or journal about your business or journal about your relationships or journal about how much shit has happened in the past that has fucked you up. This is the place to do it. Why? Why crayons and specifically? Why coloring? I mean, you can use markers, you can use paint, you can use whatever you want. The power of the crayon is that our unconscious mind is stimulated by our olfactory senses. So that's why essential oils are also wonderful to use, but more importantly, the crayon, because it stimulates the memories. If you love to color, then you're going to stimulate the root chakra. The root chakra was developed from age zero to seven. And so even the smell of a crayon is going to stimulate your body and it's going to help let go and start going, okay, we're going to send some stuff up in the queue that we think is old. You know, this is your unconscious mind, like, you know, sorting through all your files and all your stuff and saying, okay, this is the stuff that we think you can deal with right now. This is the stuff that we think, you know, you're letting us know by your temperature and your heartbeat and how you move and how you react and what you think about. You're letting your body know whether you are in a survival state or in a relaxed state. So for many of us, coloring has really good memories and it can also help stimulate whatever memories or old beliefs or values that we've been holding on to that have absolutely nothing to do with this. And it's crazy. Like you'll start doing this work and you'll start having these stories and memories come up of stuff that you know is no longer relevant, but you can see how it's been playing out emotionally with you day after day. So consistency. So what do you, so this is really building your altar. This is what like making a sacred space is about. This is like your I dream a genie bottle to be consistent. What is it that would make you so happy that you would show up every day? You know, it's like a little kid. If you, you know, what is it that you love to do every day, no matter what? And for me, it's like the things that I love to do, things that are important to me. They've always been important, almost like day one out of the whim, right? So name three things, like just three things, like three adventures. We're, we're talking about adventure, right? So go ahead and just write three of your top adventures. So my husband and I, we just saw the Almighty Johnson. So one of our adventures we want to go do is go through New Zealand. I want to put together a yoga workshop tour through Australia and New Zealand. So um, anyone who wants me to come teach there, let me know. <laughs> What's the third, what's the second one? What is another adventure? Well, I want to go back to India. I've been to India three times. I really want to go back to India again. So that's another adventure I want to go on. And what's the third adventure? Now, it doesn't have to be out of the house. It doesn't, it, ha it could be within, right? So um, I'm going to share with you one of my adventures like that I'm looking forward to doing that I've never done before 
is going out and doing a live chakra yoga dance, trance dance event and have it just be a big Seva event and ha and highlight all my favorite um, go fun projects and people and teachers I know that are struggling. So that's, that's my big dream. I've never led something that big and I want to find a DJ to work with and all that. So that's one of my adventures that, um, dreams that I'm working for. Now, we're going to talk about perseverance next, right? Oh, we're going to talk about perseverance next. So when we, but why did we put three adventures down? Because key is adventure. So just to recap, we're talking about art journaling and three keys to healing your heart with art journaling. And the three keys for me, because it's showing up for yourself, is consistency. So when you've come from, like, you're holding just fucked up feelings about shit that's happened in the past, and it doesn't matter what it is, or you're holding fucked up feelings about how your body feels, or, you know, what your choices have been, um, if you're constantly showing up every day telling yourself you're an asshole and your body's breaking down, guess what? You're going to be very unhappy with your life, right? And why? I've done this. I've done this. I actually had journals where, you know, <laughs> right, how much I was like totally dis, dis there's no word to like for me to even describe what that pain was. So when you're consistent with showing up for yourself every day, where you're showing up for you, you're supporting yourself, you're loving your heart, you're supporting your dreams, you start talking about your adventures and what you want to do, then it starts stimulating your brain. And you start thinking, oh my gosh, you know, you start seeing things that are going to help you get to that next level of where it is that you want to be. And when we start focusing on our dreams, this is where our heart starts healing the past. When we really start turning that and not, and so many people like they have problems with their goals because they'll set a goal about what it is they're lacking in the moment instead of, um, they're, they're looking at their thought process because this is originally how NLP was taught. NLP is pretty much a boy's world, quantum learning, things like that. And the women who have trained, I've trained with who have also learned the same information, study with the same teachers, what I saw for myself, which helped me with my insecurities, I saw how much they trust their feelings. I saw how much they trust their heart, how much they trust their own intuition, that aha, that, that little tingle, that, that, that part of you that says, you know what, this is it. I need to do this. I don't care what anybody thinks. And we've all been there. This is when a woman makes up her mind, it's like, there's nothing you can do to stop her. It, it can either be your greatest weapon, your heart or your greatest treasure. So consistency Treat yourself like a treasure. Show up for what it is that you treasure, what you value every day. All right, perseverance is the second key. Here's the next thing. Shit goes sideways, right? Um, I have a dog that's 16 years old that a year and a half ago, um, she was told that she had less than a week to live. And every day we wake up going, we have her one more day. Wow. And <laughs> my husband and I get so excited. So a lot of, I'm, I'm fortunate in one aspect that, you know, I had this injury that changed my life and put me on a career path where I developed my own business and work from home. And so I get to hang also with my 16 year old dog. There's times though that her needs supersede what I'm doing in the moment. So I've learned to be patient learn to persevere with what it is I'm doing, despite the distractions. I know a lot of people have young kids and things like that. So persevere. So you're striving for your best in the moment. This is my best in the moment. So once again, I mentioned that, you know, I had a traumatic brain injury. I had to stop what I was doing. I, there was a long list of things I'm no longer able to do. There's a long list of things that I'm getting better at doing again. And I just show up every day and focus on my best. Why is that important? Because when we focus on what fucks us up, it creates muscle tension. And muscle tension is the, the, the stress reaction that breaks down your body, breaks down your organs, breaks down your muscles, breaks down your brain, your lungs, your breathing, and your feelings. 
When you feel like crap, it's really tough to be oh yay about your dreams, right? So perseverance, you strive for your best for the day. You show up, you've got a hard day, your body is hurting, maybe you have a migraine, whatever's going on physically, your challenge, okay? Maybe your relationship's a challenge. Maybe you guys are having problems, you're, you're, you're not communicating. My husband and I have gone through that. We're like, it's like we're talking two different languages and we had to find a different way we had to keep persevering, find a different way of saying what it is that's important to us. Um, you're always talking shit in your head. <laughs> you know, you're always talking crap. You're, you've got your inner critics and they're just, mm, just giving it to you. Persevere, persevere, have fun with it. Um, Every time you catch yourself, you know, think of like a cartoon character. Up oh, there's my doggie. She's barking. She wants my attention. Probably going to take a water break after I finish the third key. So grab another crayon and draw a little shape for perseverance. Draw a heart for perseverance. So I got orange again. Draw a heart. And orange is second chakra, feelings. Hey, <laughs> so what are three things in your life that you're dedicated to doing, that you're going to show up for every day? Um, breathing. <laughs> I'm really happy when I wake up another day and got another day here at the fair to hang out with and play. Um, what's the second thing that every day, like you persevere no matter what. I pers I love my animals. I love my pets. Is it always easy taking care of animals? Can my cats be assholes? Hell yeah. But I show up every day. I persevere through this weird stuff and I do my best. I do my best. Um, same, you know, it's like, what else do you persevere? I persevere every day for my business and Keeping it creative, keeping it fun, keeping it interactive, um, listening to my intuition when something is not flowing. So just doing your best in the moment, right? We all have tech problems and computer things that go down. So um, health, what is it in your brain that you're happy about? Um, I'm happy, I, you know, it's like, what are you grateful for that you persevere? I persevere in keeping a sense of humor. So that's like the thing I do for my brain. If you're having a hard time thinking of three things, think of one for your body, one for, you know, your brain, and one for how it is that you feel. So perseverance in terms of feelings. Um, I have persevered with deciding that I was going to be my best friend instead of my worst enemy. So showing up for myself, which comes back to consistency, right? Third key. I don't know if anyone's still with me because I still have my keyboard in front of my screen. <laughs> Grab another crayon. Don't look. All right. Third one's intensity. Ooh, got blue. Now, intensity, um, FYI, blue, throat, sh um, this is, um, well, it's kind of like an indigo blue. So I would say this is for brain power, third eye. And the third eye is your imagination. Um, everybody gets all hung up on whether that's the seat of your soul, blah, blah, blah. Deal with the now right now. And the now is that's the seat of your imagination. So intensity. Bring your passion always. Okay, well, once again, you feel like shit. I've had chronic fatigue. I've had candida. I've had Epstein's bar and Hashimoto's and went through like about 10 years ago, a real crazy healing crisis. Um, and then we got hit, you know, like did the whole fi the financial crisis and had to make some hard decisions. And my so bringing your passion. I know what it was like, like during those times, keeping my passion up. Ugh, no, it was a struggle. And this is where my creative practice first got born was during that hard time through the financial crisis. And I studied with Samantha Bennett, the organized artist, who's also been a guest on my podcast show, the bad girl wisdom interviews. And she was the one who said 15 minutes a day, Show up 15 minutes a day for what it is that you have passion for, what it is that you keep saying, oh my God, if I had more time, I would do this. If I had more time, I would do this. If I had more time, I would do this. You have to make the time for your passion. So two things I want to show up for every day that I realized I had stopped doing. I'd stopped doing art and I'd stopped dancing. Those were two things that have been my passion always. So every day I dance one dance and I show up and I do my art journaling. 
Now, sometimes my art journaling turns into art. Sometimes I just tear up the pages and put them in my dream jar. Sometimes I turn them into another piece of art. It's up to you. Go with your intuition. Really feel into it. So um, I want you to go ahead and put your hand on the page. Just take your hand, place it on the page. And with your other hand, if you're able to do this, um, right now I'm holding the phone with my other hand. I haven't figured out my whole um, phone tripod thing yet. Um, outline your hand. Because our passion, especially for women, right? Our passion, our horn, it, it, it's our passion comes from the second chakra, which is our ovaries, and that that energy, that charge, that fuel, it fuels out of three places. We express our energy through our mouth. We express our creativity, our creative energy, our creativity. We express it through our voice through our hands and through our vagina. I say that I also express it whole body when I'm dancing, um, but that's me. <laughs> I, passion. So bring your passion. So three things that you want to bring your passion to. What is an adventure for you? What do you find that you do by yourself that you could spend hours doing by yourself that is your passion and it could eat, I love to read. That's another passion of mine. Um, there's, I love to cook. That's another passion of mine. So what is it? It doesn't have to be an art practice. Maybe it is art. Maybe it is dancing. I highly suggest dancing because you need to then move. And once you get these emotions flowing and you get this old stuff being released, you got to move it out of your body. I am a body worker. I teach massage. This is why I'm such an anatomy geek. And you need to move that out of your body. That's what your this our bodies are meant to be fluid. We're mostly made up of water. We're literally a water. We're like a snow globe of just water filled with all these little glitter sparkles of elements and stardust and energy that creates who you are. And you can only be you. You can only have this experience of you. Everyone who watches is going to have a different experience of having it. So, three adventures that you're passionate about. What's your inner adventure? What are you passionate about? So, definitely for me is art. Love hanging out with color. Put my whole heart into it. I love dancing. Put my whole heart into it. And I love teaching. I also put my whole heart into that. So, those are my three passions. That's what I have intensity for. That's what allows me to show up and stay persistent and stay consistent because I'm interacting with what it is. Now, I've been the waitress slash actress. I've been the body worker slash actress. I've been the body worker slash solopreneur, body build, you know, um, business owner. Building, I know it's like to try to transition out from one place to another and build a bridge to another. So this is where this practice is 15 minutes a day with your art journal where you first take time check in excuse me little burp <laughs> water take time with your heart take time with yourself take time to be the queen that you are the goddess that you are the priestess that you are wherever you're at take that time to decide Where's the next step? Instead of looking for out there, get in touch with your intuition. Doodle your oohs and boos is what I say. Every day I write down three things I'm grateful for. Three things that if I didn't have in my life, my life would forever be altered and shifted. And three things that are worrying you what's what's on what's the story that's being repeated over and over in your head what's the mind grind that's going on write that down and then look at what are some solutions you could do today what is one thing you could do for that thing that you're worrying about what is that one thing you can do so I'm worried about getting this oh 
how to rest my arm again. Uh, worried about that these podcasts are so crazy because I'm still getting it all together. was worried I didn't have all the right tools. But I was encouraged by the podcast mentors here on Periscope. Um, not podcast, Periscope. Brain injury. Um, how to just get started. So that's the most important thing. Just get started. 15 minutes a day. So powerful. Go rock it out. I'm going to go ahead and call it. I've got my baby girl calling me. She wants to have her toast and coffee. We have toast and coffee together every day. We've been doing it since she was five weeks old. And uh, so she's she, she's saying, Mama, it's time. Okay, cool. So um, make me check my notes. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Once again, I am Carmel Morgan. And for um, anyone who's just popping on, we just talked about putting heart into your art journaling and healing your heart with it with three keys. And the three keys are consistency. Show up every day for yourself. You want to heal, you want to have a better life, you want to feel better in your body, you got to show up for yourself at least 15 minutes a day. That's what it takes to lay down new neural networks. Uh, big truck going by. <laughs> um, perseverance. Strive for your best always. Whatever your best is. If you're having a really bad day, you're having a brain day, you're having a PMS day, do what's, reschedule everything. Everything starts first with filling up your teacup. So how do you fill up your teacup? Close your eyes, visualize the teacup, imagine it, and decide, look and see, where's the level? Look in the teacup. Is your teacup bone dry? Is it full? You want to fill it up so that you go out the rest of the day serving from the saucer. What fills you up? Me, art and dance fills me up. I'm sharing with you what fills me up. Only you can decide what fills you up. I'm giving you the formula. You have to show up every day and tweak it so it's what you, what's right for you. So perseverance, strive for your best. Two, intensity, right? What's right for you? Bring your passion always. Choose something to show up every day for 15 minutes that you want passion about. If you're showing up every day for 15 minutes for something that someone said that you should try, chances are, wah, wah, like all New Year's resolutions, it's going to go to the resolutions grave. Show up for your passion. All right, I'm Carmel Morgan, and I'm coming to you from Petaluma, California. Our word of the day with the angel cards, adventure. And what else? Um, please hit hearts, even if you're watching the replay. If you dig this, you want more info, let me know. Um, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, sharing with you information that you find interesting. I've got tons of stuff to share with you. So new topic every day. Turn in. And if you want to find out more about doing a chakra makeover with me, doing a breakthrough session on working with your emotional body, you're stuck, part of you wants this, part of you wants that, you don't know how to move forward, check me out. You can go to the Bad Girl Mystic website, B-A-D-G-I-R-L-M-Y-S-T-I-C dot com. C-O-M, right? Badgirlmystic.com. Reason I did that is because someone said, be kind to the people who are visually impaired and are listening. Word of the day, adventure. So they said, spell everything out. Um, come check out. Come hang out. I've got lots of cool stuff for you there. Um, also to check out some free audios. And you can check out my book, Rapid Change for Busy Heart-Centered Women Who Want to Be the Best Versions of Themselves. I am the co-author of Chapter 19, Some Bad Girl Wisdom on How to Transform Heartbreak into Heart Power with a Heart Chakra Makeover. I show you how to set up a right brain gym to help you start healing your shit. <laughs> <laughs> it works, baby. It really does. Peace and love. Weird mistake. I'm out. Um, hopefully, I will be able to turn this off without... I've been practicing turning off. The broadcast slide down. Bye, guys.